going to be corresponding angles. This is numbers one and two. I'll go over number one with you. So let's go over the example and the definition. So corresponding angles are found in matching corners. They're on the same side of the transversal. So the transversal is this line right here. This is the left-hand side. This is the right-hand side. This is the exterior. This is the interior. And this is also the exterior. Okay, so you have two different sides cut by the transversal. So again, this is the transversal. And then as we continue on, it says one of these corresponding angles in between two pair lines and the others on the outside. So remember, exterior, interior, exterior. So let's go ahead and go through the sets. Bring this up closer. These are color coded. One and five go together. And then I have the next one, two and six. And I have three and seven. And then four and eight. Let's look at the first example. The first problem, it says name the pairs of chorus body angles. Excuse me. So what happens with this is that now that this is my transversal, you kind of have to still look at the pairs, but from the outside in. So this is the exterior, exterior, and then interior, All right? So let's go ahead and match the pairs. The first one is gonna be two and one. And the next one, remember pairs means two angles. <coughs> this one's gonna be four and three. Next one's gonna be eight and seven. And then lastly, vertical six and five. angles, we're gonna use number three as an example. So it says vertical angles are angles that are opposite of each other. Um, when two lines cross. So that means like when it makes an X. Vertical angles are congruent. That means that they're equal, meaning that they have the same angle measure. I don't know what that is. So when we look at this, we have PQ, I'm sorry, PRQ is going to be congruent with SRT. But the ones that we need to work on is going to be PRS and QRT. Okay, so what we know is the measure of PRS is 8X and the measure of, I don't know my highlight went, the measure of QRT is going to be 2X plus 72. So the measure of PRS is equivalent or congruent to the measure of QRT. That's what that means right there. So the way that we're gonna solve for the angle, so if we read this question very carefully, it says find the measures of PRS and QRT. But this doesn't really take a lot because they're equal to each other. So our steps are gonna be one to substitute, solve for X, and then take that S and solve for X, then substitute that X. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Step one, solve for X. So I have 8x equals 2x plus 72. I'm going to solve for x, subtract x from, two si from both sides. So I have 6x equals 72. Divide both sides by 6, x equals 12. And then I now know that x equals 12. So I'm going to substitute that into either PRS or QRT. I would say you want to substitute it into PRS because PRS is 8x and just it's an easier equation. So then x equals 12. The measure of PRX is 8x. 8 times 12 is going to be 96. The question is asking us for the measure of each. So that's going to be the measure of QRT equals 96. So they're both the solution. Okay, now we're going to look at alternate exterior angles. So alternate exterior angles are pairs of angles. So pair means two angles outside the parallel lines. 
cut by the transversal. Okay, so this line right here is the transversal. These lines right here are the parallel lines. Now, it says that they are alternate exterior angles, so that means I'm going to have exterior here above the parallel line and below the parallel line, and then in between the parallel lines is going to be the interior. Now, we're only looking at the exterior. You want to know what's happening here and here. And when it means alter alternate, it means that I'm going to pick one from this side, one from that side, one from this side, one from that side. So the angle pairs that exist are going to be, let's do the first ones, two and seven. That's the first pair. And the se second pair is going to be one and eight. And those are your alternate exterior angles. Look at consecutive interior angles. So consecutive interior angles are formed by the inner sides cut by the transversal. So this right here is a transversal. And the way we talked about it before, we said this is the interior or the inside. So if I'm looking for what's on the inside, if I had angles on the left and then angles on the right. So in this transversal, I don't have any angles on this side. So we're only going to talk about the Y and the R. So they are on the same side. <clears throat> so the pair that we have here in this example is going to be cut by the transversal. We only have Y and R labeled, so our angle pair is Y, angle Y and angle R. In number seven, it says which angles are consecutive interior angles in this image. So we're gonna have two of them because everything's labeled. My first set is going to be angle three and angle five. My second set is going to be on the other side of the transversal, which is going to be angle four and angle six, and that's going to be my angles. A right angle um, have right corners that measure 90 degrees, so like, like, a, like a triangle. Acute angles are less than 90. Obtuse angles are between uh, 90 and 100. And then straight angles are flat lines, like any line going in any direction like a vertical straight line that's that's a straight angle so let's talk about what they're asking here in number nine number nine is asking for obtuse so the i'm gonna have two solutions because it says what angles of two should be what angles so when we go from here we're going to talk about angle hkm so the measure of hkm if we read this on the protractor, it goes from 0 to 120. So it's 120. Our second angle is going to be NKL or LKN. This goes from 60 to 180. So the way that you find the measure for this angle is that you are going to say 180 minus where the arm starts at 60, and it's going to give you again 120.